Hi, welcome back to Danny Harris Arts. In this part two segment of the Rainbow Trap Wood Carving Project, I'm going to be carving the gill detail and the detail on the fins. So if you've seen the first video, you'll know that this is a uh, online workshop that I'm taking with uh, Master Carver Josh Googie. And uh, I've talked about Josh Googie in the other one. I'm gonna leave his contact info in the comment section below. Josh is a world-class bird and fish carver. He's won multiple world titles. He's taught classes all over the United States. And uh, so I'm getting to follow along in this workshop online. Uh, they're actually done with the course, uh, with the guys that are there live in the studio. Uh, but I'm just, I'm keeping up with it on the videos. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna turn around and get started here. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this pencil and go over all the details of the face here. Okay, so what this is doing is just put in the lead on there and I'll use it as a stencil. So when I lay the pattern on, so I've got it drawn out on this side. So when I lay it out on here, start trace and then I can trace it on hold it tight so it doesn't move see that or not I can just barely see it but what I can do now is just come in here and draw it in So I got it on this side and now I'll do the same on the other side by making sure I draw these in good enough or cover these with the pencil lead good enough and the other details there's other smaller details on here that will come in later Kind of see that it transferred there. But I need to look and make sure. See, I can already tell I got it too far back. So let me erase this and do it again. Okay, we got the pattern on here. And you need to make sure that the eyes are even and that the, um, the gill structure is even. So I'm looking at it down the center line. And I'm going to draw a little line across just so that I can see it in my own head. 
and I have the center line drawn in here. Keep that in space. The main thing are the eyes, though. Until this line needs to come up just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do, making sure that my eyes are lined up, because the eyes are not straight, it can make or break the piece. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to follow Josh's instruction. And what he does is he burns the lines in and then um, and then carves down to them. So I don't have the um, the model he had in front of him to show, but um, some of these places are deeper like this gill is deeper than this one the end cut and same with this one it's a little deeper here and a little shallow here so but uh i'm gonna just follow these lines here i need a piece of scrap before i do this here Again, I'm just doing the main structure of the gill. I'll put the smaller detail stuff in, like the gill rakers down here. And this, there's a little bony plate that comes in back here that, that'll come in later too. Same with the eye, I'm not gonna burn the eye in. I mainly just want the main structure of the mouth and gill covers.
if you can see that or not. The relief that's cut. I can feel it and I can see it personally here, but let's see if I can get it in that angle you can see it. Turn this light off, see if that helps. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better there. Just need to uh, smooth it out now. All right, I think I'm ready to start working on the fins now, uh, putting the rays in the fins. Get all that out here. Okay, so what I've done now is I've transferred the caudal peduncle area to the tail and then I'm going to cut this relief out here and then draw on the uh, the fin rays so I'm just going to use this little flame burr to uh, just do a little bit of a relief here Okay, so one of the things I'd done wrong when I did my first trout uh, several years ago, I, I did a rainbow, I think it was my third or fourth project ever. So, uh, and I did the tail wrong among other things. Um, but if you look at the tail, the caudal peduncle area here, it's got this kind of a beveled edge to it. And, um, you see I've drawn it on here like that and where I messed up on the other ones I did I just I just drew them out I mean I just they, they were just rounded like a regular panfish or, or bass or something um, but that's not how it is and I did a brown trout and I did it the same way but the pattern I had had it rounded so um, if I'd have looked at the reference pictures I had at the time better, I'd have seen that it wasn't right. But uh, this one was done right. So anyway, I've got it transferred in. I've got a little bit of a bevel on there. And uh, now I'm going to draw in the fin rays. And then uh, start carving those out. I think I'm going to start on the, uh, the actual fin, body fins first. So he's got a different, Josh has a different way of doing them than, than, than me. And I think it's gonna work out better the way he does it. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna see here. Um, the way he does it, and well, I'll just show you. So uh, let me draw them out here. So this first little line here is going to be the front spine of the fish. And then he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dorsal rays. So I'm going to draw those out here and they kind of curve. So just take and start start light and then heavier in the middle.
Okay. Yeah, I think that went pretty easy. Let me clean it up a little bit. I'll do that off camera. Okay, these are the pelvic fans. Just start working on those here. Josh used a little stone uh, that had a little thin ridge on it to put the little end of the uh, ray fin splits. And I don't have one. I was gonna burn them on, but I've had good luck with this little flat tip um, stone before, or a diamond. So it does a pretty good job of putting the uh, splits in it. And I drew me a line halfway. They only come about halfway up, so. Drawing in that little bony plate, and I'm gonna mark where the fins go. So it looks like about right there. Burning, learn this from Josh too. And burning the slot because that'll help the tip follow that groove better.
over the edge, it's going into the fish. This time, I need... All right, I don't have the stump cutter like he had, but this little flame fine bird will work here. I'm just changing the angle of this uh, fin. I don't know if you can see that. It's too far in that way, so it needs to be out more just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut a little triangle shape off the end of this, and I'm just gonna burn it off. Yeah, that'll fit better. All right, I had to do a little bit of fit and finish there and trim these down a little bit, but they fit now. So, let's see what this looks like here. All right, I got a little bit of little bit of fine tuning to do, but it's turning out okay, I think. So that's why I'm doing. He's talking about these little bony protrusions here by the pelvic fans. So what he's doing is he's burning it in. Taking a little flame burr, carving around it to make it protrude out just a little bit. There's a couple little uh, details here also that I almost forgot to do. There's two little bony separations here and they're not really carved in, so they're just little indentions. And uh, 
I think I can just use a end of a bit. I've got them drawn in there. Probably even just use the pencil and make it indent in. And then this side here. And then I got to do the nose too. I'll do that off camera. That's not that big a. Can't really see that the indention it made. I don't know. You might be able to. Um, but it'll show up when the paint gets on it. And that might be a little too much there. Bend it down a little bit. There we go. So. Let me put it back together here. Okay, that's going to be it for part two of this rainbow trout wood carving segment. In part three coming up, I'm going to be burning the scales, mounting the eyes, and repairing the little gaps in the fins that didn't quite fit right to the body. I'm also going to have Josh Googie here. He's going to give me a critique on the fish up to this point, tell me what I've done right, what I've done wrong. So I hope you'll be around for that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comment section below, and I'll see y'all on part three.